Hello, my fellow farmed Fallout fan base. I'm Mr. Church, and I'm back. Um, I had to move my camp in real life, and I got the fast travel bug. But I'm here now, and things are better than ever. I'm so excited to be building in this game, and I'm so excited I made it back in time for the armpit update. Um, I know that that's something we've all been looking forward to. Today we're going to be building uh, right here on the map near Managa Power, whatever that is. On this road here near the, the bend in the road, uh, there's a fork and a spoon. You'll find these machines here and a construction site asking to be built. If you listen closely, you can actually hear it whispering. Um, actually, no, that was the groans of the veteran players. I forgot. They sound very similar. Let's plop down a concrete extractor while we work, and we'll fix this generator later. Um, in the meantime, we're going to be making a construction site. We're going to stick with the industrial theme that Bethesda Gaming Studios has shoved forcefully up our asses with this pit update. Now, I'm um, using this texture, and I'm going to flip it around. We're not going to line everything up, so the pattern won't be repeated. Now, this one, we're going to be using lots of merges to get some details in, and we're going to be merging stuff into the foundation, so those things you want to plan ahead and do early on, because you're going to be needing to take the piece of foundation out, merge down, and put it back. Now, this specific merge, I got the idea from Drago. Um, I saw it in-game, but their builds are often showcased on the Uranium Fever channel, so I'll leave a link for that in the description if you want to check them out. Lots of great merging there, and uh, these boards are perfect for a construction site. So we're going to be doing uh, multiple merges. We're going to merge down using the pressure plate merge uh, to get these down together, and then we're going to be merging the whole thing into the foundation. Now, I'm going to show how to do this, but if you're unsure after watching it, uh, Nuka Violet has a merge video, which I'll be linking as well, and she goes over every single k type of merge um, that you can do in the game. She does not cover the merges like Microsoft and Zenimax. Uh, she only covers ones that end in success. Now, I'm also using this. Again, I also uh, stole this from... Drago. Now, one of the things I like to do when I can't sleep is I go to other people's camps and I steal their content. Um, apparently, I've been stealing someone's content here for quite some time, um, even though they're not even uh, on the same platform as I am. But that's okay. I've somehow cracked the whole uh, crossover problem, and I'm able to actually um, go into other people's camps on a different platform and look at their camps in-game and steal their content, even when that content is a base that's not visible to the naked eye. Um, apparently I was able, also able to steal that. That as one of my best moves I think I've done. Um, so I'm really proud of myself for that. Now if you can't steal content, I do recommend uh, you just don't make any. Or, now this is what Bethesda does, you could just regurgitate it. So for example, if you, you know, you're too busy, uh, with your, um, I, I don't know, you can't come up with something new for the Atom Shop, just take it and reskin it. Oh, better yet, take something off the scoreboard and reskin that, even though that already has two skins on the scoreboard as two separate scoreboard items. And to be fair, that's okay. You know, you can only pull a power armor piece apart and get five, you know, slots out of that. So what else are you going to do? Um, we're really stretched thin here. You know, apparently there's only one guy that works on all of the scoreboard and the Atom Shop, and I guess they don't have the game installed. So, it's obviously hard work, um, reskinning barrels, so I'm not going to be, you know, rude about it. We're not going to mock people, you know. It's not like they're getting paid to make content. So, anyway, uh, what I'm going to be doing here is, um, I was talking instead of explaining how to do that drop merge. Again, just go watch Nuka uh, Violet's video. I... I'm not going to be able to explain it any better than she did, and there's also multiple ways you can do that specific merge that I didn't show here. So instead of, um, you know, uh, you know, just telling you how to do something, I'm just going to tell you, get out of here, go watch someone else's video. Uh, you know, it's not like I, you know, you don't need to watch it, that's fine. Um, and also, 
I hope you guys are all enjoying the new pit update. Um, I was really excited as well when I first played it in the PTS. I was absolutely knocked off my socks by the concept of this. What they did, they were like, what does the player base want? You know, and then they did something else. And so, anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Everyone wants a daily op, a big boy daily op, though. Daily ops, you know, for when the daily ops are being completed too quickly. Let's have one that takes even longer. And also some troglodytes. You know, thank you, uh, Bethesda. Very excited. Um, no, I don't want more map to explore and build on. I just want more daily ops. And could I please have to cook a stew every single time I want to do one? Thank you. Um, I, anyway, I'm not trying to be a, you know, a Debbie Downer here. I'm not here to bitch about Bethesda, uh, fleecing the customers and, uh, the fans of the Fallout franchise. Um, cause, you know, who wants to get into the nitty gritty of who's reskinning what? So, let's get back to the build. We are, I'm just gonna destroy, I didn't mean to make this too wide here. Anyway, what I've done is I put the, the walls up around that and then I plopped the stair gantry in. You want to do it in that order? or it won't you won't be able to place those walls down and some stuff i might change as i go uh, but we're going to be breaking some things to get certain looks like the broken brick has a really nice effect and then we've got some broken walls in there as well and we're just going to be putting up a couple of walls here and there and as you might have seen i also put the junk walls in burned them and placed a wall down to get the you know how in a work zone you might see Walls that have, like, the support beams up on them still. And that's um, to kind of emulate that look there. And uh, we're going to be having some of the floor upstairs done, but not all of it. I don't want to make it look like it's too completed. You know, that wouldn't fit in a game like this. Um, so let's try to, you know, dial it down a bit and uh, burn everything. You know, take it and just burn it, just like all of our hopes and dreams when we log onto the game every day and get immediately blue screen. Uh, if you play on Xbox, you might not know what a blue screen is, um, but what it basically means is goodbye, the game's over. You can't play it. Go play something else. It actually says that on the screen, um, it says, uh, what do you try? You're tr oh, you wanted to play Fallout. Well, it's offline. I don't know why. Um, I guess there was must have been a problem with the new update. <laughs> what I, we couldn't have seen that coming, uh, so you know it was a shock to us all. Now, uh, some of the fun things about the scoreboard uh, that I was looking forward to, like I'm really looking forward to um, unlocking the that new wall set that looks awesome, and the the Fusion Core uh, recharge machine, and a couple of skins. I don't really care about those. But though, wait, oh no, I forget, that's right, I forgot. Those aren't on the scoreboard, even though those items would have been on the scoreboard a few years ago. Uh, no. Uh, these are, these are not, these are being sold for actual money. No, no, they're not sold for atoms. You can't use your Fallout First atoms on them. No, just money. And it's a really reasonable price, too. Just 30 fucking dollars. <laughs> no, like, you guys might think I'm joking, uh, but I'm not. I wish I was. That is pretty funny, objectively speaking. Um, to sell five items that should all be on the scoreboard already... For 30 fucking dollars. Now, if you want to rip that apart and think about it, the Far Harbor DLC, one of the biggest DLCs that Bethesda ever made, is 15 dollars. 15. So, somehow, this, this, this bundle here that they're selling for real money with just five items in it, uh, two skins, two of them being skins, those, those, you know, must be really good items for, to sell, to sell for twice the price of the Far Harbor DLC, <laughs> must be good, you know, because that actually gave us a new map, uh, quest lines, um, new characters, lots of new items, uh, lots of side quests, exploration, even settlements, that, remember when Bethesda made games and charged, you know, like a normal price that wouldn't make someone like faint when they looked at it uh, anyway um enough about that let's not get bogged down with who's exploiting who's nostalgia here and the fact that we've just normalized this uh complete 
horse shit. Um, it's just complete horse shit. I, I'm sorry. Um, I won't be getting that new wall set or making any tutorials with it. Um, I'm not going to be complicit in Bethesda's greed and their disrespect and insult to all of us veteran players who have kept up with their bullshit. Um, and I wish it's been worth it. Anyway, uh, this enough of that. I'm not going to be bitching about this all day long. Now, what you may have noticed is when I burned that, the generator disappeared. That's because it's uh, technically it was on top of the, the junk wall. So when I burn the wall, the generator, and anything placed on top of the wall goes away, which allows me to place these items really close underneath it. Then I just repair that and the generator comes back. Um, this is good for cramming stuff in around stuff that has like pretty uh, janky hitboxes. Now upstairs we're going to be putting some random walls in here. And I'm going to be placing them down. I um, actually am going to do some wood. Uh, and then what we're going to do is burn it. And it's going to give us this nice effect of just like the, you know, the studs in the walls. Uh, like me. Anyway, um... Yeah, and it'll give us this nice little broke. You can't see it, it's too fast. Anyway, uh, we'll look at it later. Now I want to do something that's a little tricky and will cause your eyes to bleed. What we're going to be doing is trying to get a chainsaw to sit on the floor. And so what I'm going to be doing is taking this this display, this weapon display. And we want to get it low because we want it low enough so that it kind of goes down into the floor a little bit. So that when we put a chainsaw on it, it looks like the chainsaw is sitting on the floor. So I'm going to test that now by putting a chainsaw in it. Um, if you want to know where to get a chainsaw, there are a couple locations on the map. But also you can find them in the pit if you have the pleasure of doing that. I usually go to the ranger lookout in the Cranberry Bog. Inside the garage there is one. Uh, anyway, that's obviously too high. So what we're going to do is I've lowered it. And you can lower the middle one and then snap the bottom one to that and it'll go down lower. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blueprint the top one and the rug, not the bottom one. This will give me a, um, a reference point to snap the bottom one down and it, this blueprint will also allow me to shove this display rack into the wall so it's inside that wallpaper. Now you want to put the wallpaper on here before you do this, because adding wallpaper obviously will knock the decorations off it. Um, that's just one of the features of the game. So as you can see, you can shove it in so that it goes completely disappeary, and you'll still be able to access it through the wallpaper, um, as you can see. And so what we're going to do is then you're going to snap a display to the bottom of that. That's going to put our display piece where we want it. And then we'll have a wall that we can move stuff around on. Now I recommend trying to do this over, you know, by that wood where we're going to end up having it. Uh, rather than building it separately, that might be easier. Um, but it might be difficult to get it in with those benches that are already in there. Um, so that's why I built it this way. The problem is, of course, when we go to pick this up, that's going to interfere with the foundation. So what we want to do is move the foundation out of there and we got to snap this wall in so that it is hanging downward. And we can do this, of course, with the cat walks. Uh, it's very tricky to do this, um, and uh, but it, essentially what you want to end up with is this, which you can then take this and snap this to the bottom of that. Now, you don't... The wall here, that, that this one right here, that, you don't need that there. You can actually build over from this and go come over to here with the catwalks. Just bend them as an elbow. And then hang down from that. It'll snap downward. Then delete the catwalks. I hope that made sense. It's kind of hard to explain. And the footage I have of exactly what I did apparently disappeared. Um, it was gone. See, I promised you something and then I didn't give it to you. But I expect you to just so soak it up anyway. You know, and if enough other people hype it up, maybe that'll be fine. You see, that's the problem when you're making content for a video game that you love, but that's being run in a very disgusting and un unethical way, is that in order for me to have success at what I'm doing, it's in my, my best interest to really hype up the game 
But you see, that I can't I can't lie and I can't be complicit in something that's just egregiously fucked up. So I have to shoot myself in the foot, to be honest, and say, this this whole system here, reskinning garbage that's on the scoreboard already and selling it in the atom shop is bullshit. Selling something that should be in the scoreboard already for thirty dollars no less is bullshit. And hyping up a it's a it's a daily op bullshit you know so i'm sorry if that you know sounds a little oh he's <laughs> saying bad things about me. i love the game you know i just wish bethesda fucking loved it too you know that'd be nice anyway what i'm doing now is i'm going to be merging some things now what i'm do what i've done is i've merged these picnic tables together and then i'm going to merge them into this uh, potted plant and then the potted plant will be the thing I place down, and it'll make it look like there's two boards sitting on the ground here. And we can really just take our time with this and shove it in here. It's going to be cute. Um, and that's fun. That's good. Let's get it down a little lower. And you can kind of find a place to put it where none of it will be floating, and it'll just look like nice boards. Now I'm going to do one more fun little merge here. I've built this on a ton of these spools, and then I'm going to pick them up till I find the one that it's actually on, and I'm actually glad it was this one, because it's on the end here. And I'm going to be doing, just get rid of this shit, um, I'm going to be doing this where I just place, the reason I had a million is so that it wouldn't say it was floating. You can't just place this up on one spool, it'll say it's floating. So you build a platform of spools, you can build it on them, no problem. Just sink it down till you have these crates. And uh, we're going to be placing a couple of these around here. I'll place one out back. That should be fine. Somewhere like this. And at the end here, I'm going to give you a walkthrough to show the stuff that I didn't show building. A lot of this has been decoration. So not a whole lot that needs to be, you know, tutorial. <laughs> That's not a word. Fuck. Anyway, this is a blueprint you can use. It's a little different than the ones in the blueprint video that I'm going to link, but you just add a conduit and a door to it, and that should be fine. Uh, this will allow you to place this down on this picnic table here, which will allow for... Uh, we're going to have a broken door laying around. Now, I saw someone else do this. I don't think that... I, I couldn't find who had actually shared this, but someone, the conduit thing and not my idea, I'm gonna say that to be very clear, but I saw someone else doing it I don't know who came up with it, okay uh, but it's like a variation of the wall blueprint I show in this video that I'm gonna link anyway, when you break this specific door it has this really cool effect of being destroyed, but let's give a quick walkthrough of the video of the build in the video is what he said, without messing up uh, and luckily gonna add it out later there as you can walk up the street here You can see the construction site and this is why one of the things I love about this game is When you can build wherever you want you can incorporate locations into what you're building in a really unique and creative ways <clears throat> So over here, you know, we still have this pumping along, but I sunk the generator down into uh, this rock here, I drop merged it into the rock, which allows me to sink it way down into the ground. And it kind of looks, you know, not as stupid. <clears throat> I mean, that's up for debate. Over here we can see, uh, you know, I've put a lot of time into uh, merging things and adding details here. That is what's going to bring out your build here one second. This is one detail I added. I hid this fog machine back here behind the wall and angled it so that when it's on it's gonna look like there's this bluish black smoke pouring out of the chainsaw which you know it probably needs a little engine work that's nothing to worry about let's really soak it in here soak it soak it in anyway I, I just want to add I know I've been bitching about the update and the things Bethesda's doing and partially that's because I'm pissed off about, you know, their ethics and the way they're treating us with, you know, an insulting way. But there are nice things about the new update, don't get me wrong, you know. Uh, everyone loves Daily Ops, so that's actually a good thing. And also I'm really glad they added new currency, because we actually only had 
um, caps, script, gold bullion, treasury notes, atoms, Mr. Fuzzy tokens, Pleasant Valley claim tokens, raider reputation, foundation reputation, score, and perk coins. So obviously, uh, we really needed a new <laughs> form of currency that is, that is hardly anything at all there. So as you can see, I was blabbing when I did this, but I burn this wall and place this guy here so that I could have a tank isolated on this side, which is like a welding tank, and I put uh, this this conduit down here to kind of be like the cord. And then I place conduits here on this spool just for garbage. Um, and then over here in this wall, there's like these conduits for like plumbing. And uh, I built this. I didn't, someone else didn't come to my camp and specifically build this here. And I also placed these these pipings here without someone else doing that as well. Um, so that really adds a lot of detail in having things like that in the wall. It kind of looks like we're in the process of building. This turret uh, is destroyed. That's why it's not jiggling around. It's all part of the plan here. Of course, there's items merged into there. Conduits laying around for detail. All good. All good. I even merged this rug down slightly into the, into the con concrete. Um, because it sticks up quite a lot. And then in this area, we have the steel plates, the piles of things. Uh, this light I didn't put down because it's, you can see it's floating. I don't know who did that. Somebody, it's a levit, actually, I think there was a witch that came through here. So it makes sense that she gave me a levitating light with one of her magical spells. Uh, happy Halloween, I guess. And there's the chainsaw, of course, that we spent 14 months putting in with the black smoke billowing out of it, and these boards sitting next to it. It all just looks so cute. Now, of course, there's the wheelbarrow with the merged rocks in it, and there's, of course, a bone sticking out of it, and I don't really know why that's happening. But, you know, accidents happen at the workplace, I think we can all agree. Uh, sometimes that accident is, what do you, what, you're going to release the update like that? Uh, well, I guess it's already gone out. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess what we need to do now is have a good PR team that can get behind this and really make it look like we did it on purpose. Oh, guys, look, we have a new update, and look, here is a barrel. Uh, Want to buy it? It's the same as what's in the scoreboard twice, uh, but it just has a, it has a little stamp on it instead. You know, I merged this uh, little uh, terminal down into that stash box there. And to get the uh, clock out machine, it's just the special loadout machine. And I put it inside a doorway, and then I switched the doorway to a wall. This is just drop merged conduits in a stash box. Uh, again, you can attach a wire to something with a conduit on it. Move it once, and then after that you can move it through walls and stuff like that. I put this laser level here, but sometimes you got to arm it. you got to come in here, click arm. And then that'll uh, give it arms and legs. No, it just it makes the laser thing show. That's okay. Well, I knew it was going to be one of those two things. You know, I'm not, I'm not a you know scientist or whatever. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, but it's fine. Um, again, you want to really think about details when you're building something. Um, like, you know, is the, are there little bullet holes on it? Okay, well then I guess you can put it in the scoreboard again. Because the first one didn't have four bullet holes in it. This is completely, it's a new product. I, I sunk this uh, dirty well thing down in, so it's sitting on a pallet. I think that looks much more palatable. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. It's not. Now, these are sunken down toilets. That was my idea completely. And um, someone else didn't recommend it. And these rocks here, they're just nice rocks, you know. There's nothing else to say about that. <clears throat> Around here, I definitely could have added more in this area if I had more budget. Um, and there is this, uh, that's a power box. I didn't I didn't do that. And then this here, uh, again, just more merged tables. And then those are merged together and then merged into that toolbox there. And this is a weapons workbench merged on top of a, one of those, um, Nuka Shine barrels. Um, I originally saw Nuka Violet doing that in her merge video, which I already linked, but you didn't click on it because you wanted to keep listening to my sultry voice. And you knew if you went over there, it would, it would be over, you know? And then you'd have to work your way back up again. But the story back here, of course, is the person who lives here has taken all of the items uh, from what would have been in the house and kind of piled them up in a heap. 
and that's kind of you know what's gonna make him have a real chubby you know that's where he's living it's of course why wouldn't you want to live with all the old furniture you know have them around as household pets you know for something to do I don't know. Anyway, this is a timer that doesn't work and hasn't since the game came out, but luckily they don't fix anything so that we can make jokes like that that are really funny and they don't at all fill anyone with frustration and anger. I added these little uh, carpets here for like a boardwalk thing to get over to this area. And I swapped out some of these roofs for the ruined roof thing, which is what they're called, I think, in the build menu. Um, and over here... I added these carpets down, and those, these are just like, uh, like a tarp. The guy who's living in there kind of stretched those, those sheets basically over his head to keep the rain off him, and he lives in this little area with the generator smoke, and, um, I sunk down a shower also to collect rainwater. I see glowing in the distance. I think it's just a little radstag. Those things, luckily, they're pretty peaceful. You know, you're not going to have to worry about defending yourself against something that's basically a friendly little creature. Oh shit, oh my god, what the... Okay, well, anyway, that didn't turn out as expected, um, and I can't loot it, because I can't see what's inside it, and there could be a bomb. Anyway, after we burn that up, let's take another quick peek here, and, um... Yeah, it's just beautiful. In all seriousness, guys, um, I do poly apologize for being away so long, and I, you know, I'm back now. Um, and uh, also, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, um, I really appreciate it. Um, and I really want to thank you, like, a really big shout out to my Patreons. Um, it, it means a whole lot to me that you guys would support me, not just Patreons, channel members as well. Uh, you guys are supporting me and in a way that's making me feel like you know this is something I could actually do as a career that's what I want to do and I and I I really appreciate that more than I can say and it means a lot when I'm gone for this long and you guys are still there um, that that just means a lot to me uh, it shows me you guys you know whatever it is <laughs> that you are enjoying here is is worth me continuing and pursuing and I'm gonna keep doing that and I also wanted to say, if you guys are um, upset at all about either the, you know, Bethesda reselling things to you four times and putting them in the Atom Shop and in the scoreboard twice and filling up the scoreboard with crap so they can sell you the stuff that should have been in there for like $30, um, maybe say something. You know, there's a Bethesda Discord. You could complain in there in some of the forums. Um... They're not going to do anything differently unless we make our voices heard, and this is unacceptable, in my opinion, and we should say something about it. I love this game, and I would hate to see tons of players just leave because they're continuously insulted and disrespected, especially veteran players. Um, we deserve better than this, and I think you guys can agree. Um, you guys deserve better than this. So, anyway, if you guys are upset about that, consider saying something in the Bethesda Discord. Um, I might, um, I'll put a link for that in the comments section or, or whatever. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys, uh, are new and liked what you see, uh, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. Um, it, the bitching goes a long way. I have a Discord if you guys want to hop in there. I also stream on Twitch if you guys want to see me, um, bitching and moaning while I play a variety of games. And, um, yeah. I, that's about it. I, will, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, there will be more coming soon, and there shouldn't be month-long uh, lapses between videos because I don't plan on moving every month. You know, that's not my plan. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, from all of us here in the swamps of Nebraska, uh, thanks for the malaria. And uh, at this point, I'm literally just stalling because there's like five seconds left on the video. And I just got to keep saying something until it's over.